everybody. Uh, there was a question on the forum about placing a not, an odd number of circles um, evenly spaced around in a circle, uh, and that's just like what we have here. Um, and that's basically just a math problem, and uh, Power Duplicate um, Command J does a fine job. Um, if you add an extra shape to it, and you know, you do what we have to do because um, uh, the um, transform panel doesn't respect a, a, a moved center point. Anyway, uh, I have a different um, method. Uh, it's probably a wash when it comes to Command J on a small number of objects, but if you start getting to a, a large number, this could save you uh, a lot of time and possibly carpal tunnel syndrome. So uh, let's get rid of this, and we are going to start with the square star tool. Let's give it an odd number. Um, it could work for anything, uh, but um, we'll just keep it fairly small. Uh, okay, good. Um, by the way, this will determine the diameter of your circles. So let's pick something random. Let's copy it. and give it a different color just so we can see, see what's going on and get rid of all of the indents. Grab them both, convert to curves. Let's hide this guy for a second. Come on. Grab a square. Snap there, constrain proportion, and for right now, we're just going to eyeball it. We'll come back to this step at the end just to make it perfect. Um, so we have that. Let's grab this guy. And resize that down. It snaps right there. And uh oh, action center. Constrain to the center. And Boolean subtract. Now, here's the, the fun special sauce. Let's grab all the nodes, go to the corner tool, and just max them out. There are your circles. Um, so the amount of time it took me to do that was the same amount of time it took me to do this, which is over a thousand of them. Now, try to do that with Command J. You're, it's going to drive you nuts. Um, and they're all perfectly round um, vector objects. Uh, so at some point, uh, Command J gets a little cumbersome. Plus, you have hundreds of layers. This is a lot tidier. I have two layers. Um, so let's back up real quick to that square. Okay. So you might say, that, well, it's not exact. Uh, you just eyeballed that square. So let's get in here and try it again. Uh, we'll get it close, and we'll come back to the, the blue. Um, well, let's actually just draw another square here. And we'll come back to the blue and cut it. And then expand it. So now, this object right here is all by itself, and this can snap to it perfectly. And we'll come back to this and the little guy we cut off and join those and now
this guy will snap perfectly to the perfectly snapped square. Right there. Uh, and uh, turn it back on. And now the Boolean. Perfect. Nodes, select all, corner, and zing. there you go. Uh, so it'll work with odd numbers, even numbers. It's just, uh, it's, I think it's, um, once you get up into a large number of, of uh, um, objects, it's going to be Command-J. Anyway, hope that helped.